It's starting to get real fun. The NBA has taken over our lives. Today, it was Game 7 between the Suns and Rockets. Phoenix feeling the pressure of blowing a 3-1 lead. A.C. Green said, no way we lose three straight. The Rockets' Kenny Smith countered, A.C. is religious, but he's no prophet. Okay, fellas, let's settle this on the court. Both Charles and Akeem hurt, but it's Chuck who is still searching for the championship ring, and time is running out. And on the Suns' locker room, no layups, and we're going to San Antonio. They're confident. They've got the uh, airplane tickets ready, but Akeem... Wants to change things, he started off cold. Missed his first five shots. He had a stiff neck. Then it's Charles. Nine points, 15 boards in the first half. He's playing with a bum knee. The night belonged, the afternoon belonged to KJ with the leftover chill cut. 18 in the first half. Barkley walks off early to rest his knee. Rockets. Well, here comes third quarter. Rockets explode. They're down 10. Low angle slow of Drexler. Two of his 14 in the third. Rockets coming back. Sam Cassell. Huge third quarter. 12 in the third, 18 for the game. Cassell from the arc. Fourth quarter, we go back and forth. Elliot Perry, the miss. Charles Barkley, 23 rebounds. Then it's KJ. A career night for KJ. Crossover on Kenny Smith. 46 points for KJ. He also had 10 assists. Suns still trail by three. The Rockets have come back. And then Akeem warms up in the fourth. The foul on Danny Shays. Akeem. Rockets up five under three to play. Then the Rockets leading by one. Johnson fouled on the drive. KJ set a playoff record in this game for consecutive free throws. He made 21 of 21. But he missed number 22. We are tied, under 10 to play. That's three in the corner for Mario Alley. Can you believe that three-point lead then by two? Danny Ainge has to miss, oh, he banks it in. Danny scored 19, one-point lead, two seconds left. Danny has a chance, BYU beats Notre Dame. This is Danny Ainge. Oh, the Rockets do it. Rockets are the first visiting team to win a game seven since Philly, and the doctor jammed the jinx in 1982 in Boston. And they're the fifth team to ever come back from 3-1. KJ, a career high 46, and breaks Gail Goodrich's consecutive free throw record for a playoff game 21 straight. For the Chuck Wagon, 18 points, 23 boards, and a game high seven turnovers in what could be his last game. More on that later. First, let's hear from Super Mario. They didn't want Cloud a dream. They wanted the other guys to beat them. So I was the one tonight to beat them, and I hope they have a nice vacation this summer. Well, I think they were looking for Dream or myself, and uh, Mario is a great three-point shooter. Uh, we have a lot of confidence in his ability, and as you saw, he knocked the shot down, and uh, what a big shot it was. There was no question that it was going to Mario? <laughs> Just the way we drew it up, guys. We lost a tough game. I mean, I'd rather get blown out than lose this on a game like this. But you guys got to give them credit and take your hats off to them. It was a great series in a lot of ways, except for we lost. And uh, you know, it, it's never easy. We lost to a great team in a game that could have gone either way, and that's basketball. The Rockets win their eighth straight playoff elimination game in two years. They started slowly in the first half, no threes, 37% shooting and 41 points. But then Akeem and his stiff neck took over. Akeem 18 of his 29 in the second half, and Drexler scored 19 of his 29 in the second. How big was KJ in this series? 28 a game versus the Rockets in the last two years in the playoffs. He's had games of two 38-point games versus Houston, a 43-point game, and today 46 points. But the Suns are 1-3 in, in those games.